wanted to show you guys three simple styles that I've been rocking this summer that are super quick and easy. I started these off on stretched hair, but you can do these on any type of hair, um, stretched or not stretched. So I started off moisturizing um, the part of my hair. I'm going to separate it in two sections. Um, I use Dark and Lovely's um, Super Softening Buttercream. And I'm going to start parting my hair in like a zigzag part just because I think that it makes this style cuter, but it's optional. And I'm kind of bad at parting and zigzag, so just bear with me. Now after I finish parting, um, I'm moisturizing my edges so that I can brush, brush them back. Um, and I'm going to separate um, each section and just um, put that section off to the side. So I'm going to brush this one side up to like a high puff because we're going to end up doing just two high puffs for like a cute, um, I guess, retro type of style. And I'm going to just form my puff to how I like it. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Just brush my edges and um, brush that side upwards to a high puff and just form out that pigtail puff to as big and as full as I want it. And that is the end result. And this is just a cute little style that I've been rocking that's super quick and super easy. Now on to style two. I also started this off on stretched hair and I used my rat tail comb to just give me um, a kind of far side part. And I'm going to take that front section um, that was a side part and kind of pull it or pull it off to the side and then moisturize my edges because I'm going to work with that little side part later. Then I'm using the same Dark and Lovely softening, super softening um, buttercream to smooth down my edges. And I'm just doing this to keep my hair moisturized since it is kind of hot outside and I'm doing a lot of um, managing to my hair and I just want to keep it moisturized so it doesn't break. And I'm just going to gather all of my hair to the back and um, put a low ponytail and kind of formulate it into a bun. That's optional but that's just how I like to wear this hairstyle. And whatever kind of loose pieces didn't make it just bobby pin them down. Now working with this side part um, I'm going to use my um, gorilla, gorilla Gel and then kind of um, gel down my side part so that it looks more sleek. And I kind of section off my side part because it is kind of short. My natural hair in the front is kind of short so it doesn't make it all the way to the bun because I like to do my little side comb over look um, so that when I section it off I just bobby pin the side part to the side. So use as many bobby pins as you like and that is the end result. It's just a quick, simple, sleek style that, I, that I've been rocking this summer. Now on to number three. I've been getting a lot of requests about this um, style. and. It is kind of difficult for me, but I'm using the same softening buttercream and I'm going to start with a side part. Um, so bear with me because this is um, a flat twisting style and I'm kind of, it's kind of difficult for me to flat twist on camera, so just bear with me. But I'm sectioning off these two sides and I'm going to start with the larger section with the, um, with the side part. And I'm using my Gorilla Gel and smoothing down my edges. This is also optional or you can... Um, gel down your edges at the end of the style, but I like to make sure that my side part is sleek before I start to flat twist. So you want to grab a small section and twist that section. Then the bottom twist, you want to just grab um, another section and twist that bottom, the bottom part that you just grabbed into the twist. 
So you, when you grab a section, you you add it to the bottom part of the twist. You grab that section, you add it to the bottom part of the twist, and then twist it again, and then see you twist. And then you will grab another section and add it. See, I'm grabbing another section and I'm adding it to the bottom part of the twist and then I'm twisting again. Then I'm grabbing another section and I'm adding it to the bottom part of the twist and I'm twisting again. Grab another section, add it to the bottom part of the twist, then twist again. I hope that is helpful. I hope you guys can see that, but that's really what I did to my whole head. I'm just grabbing another um, section of hair and twisting it into that bottom piece of the twist that I already had. So this is basically the style that I'm doing. It's just a bottom, a big flat twist around the crown of my head. And I'm making sure that I stay towards um, my edges and not to pull too tightly. But um, yeah, I'm just flat twisting, doing a huge flat twist around my whole head. Then I'm just bobby pinning that section um, down. And I'm doing the same thing to the other side. Just starting off with a small twist and then grabbing another section and adding it to the bottom part of the twist. And just continuing down until you have kind of like um, a, like a crown braid, but it's just a flat twist. You can also um, opt to add some Marley hair and for a po Pocahontas look, I'll show you guys a picture that I did this summer when I added some Marley hair in. But this is just a cute, quick, protective style um, and it's just a crown flat twist. It really wasn't that hard. And you guys can replay the video over and over again if you didn't get it the first time. But it just took me a lot of practice and I hope you guys can see what I did or understood what I did. But these are the three styles and I hope you guys like this video. Let me know which style you like the best and I will see you guys next time. I wanted to talk to you guys at the end of this video because um, I want I had an idea to start a new thing. Um, I wanted to share like my favorites of the day, I guess, or my favorites of the video um, at the end of each video. Like I wanted to share like the, my the, my favorite song that I'm listening to at the moment, or my favorite artist or movie or product or just anything like just so you guys can get closer to me know a little bit more about me and just have a little fun touch to each video so yeah um my favorite for this video is a song and it's by an artist her name is raven Lene, and it's called blossom dairy i've been playing the song over and over and over again and it's just a good vibe like feel free blow in the wind type of song and you guys should hear it um i'll link it below so check it out and love you guys. See you next time. Yes, we'll start with the guest of honor. So, so we, we answer yours first. I'm not the guest of honor because this is my channel. <laughs> so we'll start with Jordan's first. My Gorilla Snot Gel. And I basically just mix these two products together because I wanted to use a moisturizer and then some type of hold. Um, so I used the top of the buttercream jar and mixed the two.